Hello, you're watching What's New in Two. I'm your host, Taylor, and this month we've got features to help your team get the ball rolling when it comes to collaboration. Our first update helps you remove the manual, redundant parts of record creation. By turning records into templates, you won't have to start from scratch when beginning a new project or campaign. So if, for instance, you're on a product team and need to add new features to the roadmap, you can create placeholder tasks for product or engineering with one click. And that means getting your team's work into Airtable is that much faster. On to our interface designer updates which provide even more flexibility when creating, using, and sharing interfaces. For one, you can now add fields directly to an interface when building, rather than having to go back to the base layer to do it. And thanks to a new search bar, you can quickly find the records you're looking for, saving you from that endless scroll. Finally, new sharing restrictions allow you to place limits on who can share your interfaces. If you're working with a third party, for example, you can ensure only they have access to the interface and can share it with others outside the organization. And we're closing out April with new features that give admins more oversight as teams create complex, connected apps. Along with API enhancements like new authentication methods, we're introducing admin security insights, which provide a detailed summary of an org's share links, pending invites, and more. Admins can access this information from the admin panel before deciding if they should delete or deactivate any of these links to protect the org's data. We've also enabled a new customized help message so admins can manage support at scale. This lets users know how they can get help, whether it's by clicking a button to file a ticket or emailing admins directly. As always, check out this month's blog in the description for the full list of updates. We'll be back next month with more.